Today we are going to take a look at the Type 22 fast attack missile boat. It is a small, fast, and reasonably stealthy assassin, with massive firepower relative to its size. The class has been built in large numbers, like most of the other medium to small Chinese surface combatants. According to most sources, over 80 boats have been built. They will almost certainly operate in large groupings to maximize missile salvo size to overwhelm the anti-missile defenses of their targets. There's a reason that small, fast missile attack craft are popular with navies that has to operate in coastal waters. They are especially common in Scandinavian countries. For example, Finland, which has to contend with Russia in the Baltic Sea, fields the Hamina-class fast attack missile boat armed with sea-skimming anti-ship missiles and reasonably good anti-missile defenses for a small craft. If used properly, missile boats like the Type 22 can be a potent threat. The Type 22 has a 220-ton displacement, with a length of 42.6 meters and a beam of 12.2 meters. Being a fast attack craft, they are far smaller than a corvette. They have a draft of just 1.5 meters, although they may fare better than expected in relatively high sea states, owing to a catamaran design. The catamaran features two parallel hulls of equal length and usually has a beam that is proportionally large, which offers the ship a lot of stability even in rough sea conditions. However, being a fairly small vessel with low capacity for fuel and supplies, the Type 22 is unsuitable for operating in the open ocean for long. It is best used in the littoral waters close to base, Two diesel engines, designed by the German company MTU, powers four water jets, providing a sustained speed of 40 knots. Top speed is somewhere in the high 40s, allowing the boats to get within range of the targets quickly. There are 12 crew members. The polygonal superstructure of the ship, with a similarly angled gun mount, shows a large amount of effort to reduce the radar cross-section. The two missile launchers also have an angled appearance. Even the window frames on the bridge, which you can see in this photo, have sawtooth edges, similar to the serrated nozzles on a fighter jet engine. All of these features help to deflect radar waves and to mitigate the Type 22's radar signature, at least before the vessel can close the range to unleash its missile payload at the enemy. And it is likely the ship has very good stealth capability. However, the Type 22 has been shown to be visible to the synthetic aperture radars of satellites, and that's to be expected. Most stealth warships, including the Type 22, are not really designed to be stealthy when the radar emissions come from directly above, as could be the case with satellites. The decks of warships ultimately have to be flat to allow the crew to work and to allow aircraft to land. The Type 22 has strong firepower out of proportion to its small size. It has two missile launchers towards the aft facing forward, but slightly towards the side at a slanted angle. There are four canisters carrying the YJ-83 anti-ship missile, for a total of eight missiles. This is the same number of anti-ship missiles found on Chinese frigates. So, a small missile boat has essentially the same amount of anti-surface firepower as a frigate, around 18 times its size. Of course, the frigate performs a lot of other missions as well, while the Type 22 has only one mission, to destroy opposing warships. The YJ-83 is a subsonic weapon with a range of 180 kilometers, certainly not on the long end. 
although it does have a dual guidance system and one that is suitable for operating in coastal environments. To overcome the shortcomings posed by range limitations and subsonic speed, the Type 22 ideally should be deployed in large squadrons. By doing so, they can ideally use their stealth to close the distance, before unleashing a large and concentrated missile salvo at the enemy task force. While individual YJ-83s can be intercepted without problems, a large number of them arriving at the same time will be very difficult to stop. There will be situations where the Chinese Navy will have to deploy its destroyer forces close to home waters against opposing naval forces. In that situation, the Type 22 can be fielded alongside the destroyers. The destroyers YJ-18 and YJ-21 anti-ship missiles will be supported by large numbers of YJ-83s, allowing the more powerful missiles a greater chance of hitting high-value targets. The destroyers can also provide the Type 22 with an air defense umbrella with anti-air missiles in turn allowing the missile boats to close the necessary distance to the target. The Type 22 uses the Type 362 surface search radar in the X-band. The useful thing about this radar is that it has over-the-horizon capability, using a method called atmospheric ducting which allows electromagnetic radiation to be bent and refracted by the lower parts of the atmosphere, in turn permitting longer range propagation. This means the Type 362 radar can detect and track targets well beyond the line of sight, to a range potentially greater than 120 kilometers. This is, of course, very useful for finding targets at a distance without a spotter, and to attack the targets beyond the horizon using the YJ-83 anti-ship missiles. Of course, one disadvantage with using the Type 362 radar in this manner is that your own radar signals could be detected by the electronic support measures of the opponent in turn giving away the missile boat's position. So, the over-the-horizon radar is really a double-edged sword. For a missile boat to hunt warships over the horizon without giving away its own position, it would need aerial, drone, and satellite surveillance. The Type 22 does have a small data link to communicate with friendly ships but lacks the proper SATCOM and large data links to directly communicate with satellites and aircraft. So, outside of using the Type 362 radar, the main way for the Type 22 to locate the enemy beyond the horizon is via friendly ships, who in turn may receive this information from satellites and aircraft. In my view, the lack of a proper data link to communicate with aerial assets is one of the main weaknesses of the Type 22 fast missile boat. Every time it has to scan for the enemy using its own radar, it puts itself at risk by giving away its own position. But there are few alternatives available. For navigation purposes, the missile boat has a Type 760 ultra-high-frequency navigation radar mounted on the mast. Note that, despite the name of the bandwidth, the Type 760 is of a much lower frequency than the Type 362. Giving away the boat's position is especially dangerous, given that the boat has very limited air defense. It relies primarily on stealth to survive. The Type 22 reportedly has a set of the QW Man Portable Air Defense Systems, or MAMPADS for short. 
This is a very short range surface to air missile. And while it is possible to shoot down incoming cruise missiles with these weapons, it is generally not viewed as a reliable anti missile defense alone. There's a licensed produced version of the AK 630 six barreled Seawiz close in weapon system, positioned at the front. It can be effective against subsonic targets, but lacks a full arc to engage incoming missiles from all directions. It is also a rather old system by now. So the Type 22 has fairly limited defensive capability and must rely on stealth to survive long enough to close in on the target. The boat has no anti-submarine weapons or sonars. Ideally, it should be supported by anti-submarine assets like maritime patrol aircraft, anti-submarine corvettes or friendly submarines. The Type 22 is very heavily armed for a fast attack craft. It has huge firepower for a small vessel. It has only one mission in mind, to sink enemy warships. As a small vessel with a low draft and limited room for supplies, it is best suited for operating in shallow coastal waters. In all likelihood, China will use the Type 22 as part of its anti-access and area denial strategy to keep US naval forces out of the South China Sea and East China Sea. The stealth design of the boat and its high speed will help with closing the distance to the enemy to get within range to fire its anti-ship missiles. Swarms of Type 22 fast attack craft can dish out massive salvos of anti-ship missiles, which can very well overwhelm the anti-missile defenses of a naval force. It can even support the more capable Chinese destroyers when the latter goes on the attack, and in turn benefiting from the air defense umbrella of the destroyers. The main weakness of the Type 22 is the lack of an adequate data link to communicate with aerial surveillance assets, which leaves the boat vulnerable to detection when it is forced to use its own radar to find the enemy. Ultimately though, small ships are almost never perfect, and there will always be weaknesses that can never be fully addressed owing to limitations around space and cost. For a fast missile boat, the Type 22, it has to be said, is among the very best.